Apostle Sonaki arrives without warning at the Central Army's main camp in Crimea. With a strength born of conviction, she exposes the senator's vile plot to undermine and usurp her. Valtome counterattacks with a claim crafted by the Senate that the Apostle is a fraud who, along with her Prime Minister, Sephiroth, is attempting to deceive all of Benyan and lead them away from the goddess's graces. To the citizens of Benyan, the senators are chosen by the goddess and are worthy of the same respect given to the apostle. As for the apostle, her image is tarnished when the senate imprisons Prime Minister Seferin in her name. An ever-growing number of Benyan citizens are willing to believe the senators claim that the Apostle is an agent of evil trying to deceive them. So it is that the Central Army is divided. One camp believes in the Apostle, and the other supports the Senate. This new turmoil fans the flames of chaos into a mighty conflagration burning across Tellius. I love that word, conflagration. Good word. Can't hear, remember. Okay. We are at Castle Crimea. And we have the Apostle Sanaki. Thank you for coming today, everyone. I'm all I'm in your debt, all of you. The King of Gallia. Canagus, the king of Phoenicia, to Barn. The Serenus royal family, Raphael and Raison. What about Leanne? Hello. Don't leave out the girl, hello. And the queen of Crimea, Alencia, who worked tirelessly to arrange this meeting and generously extended her hospitality. She gave me hope when I was driven out of my country and offered aid when all seemed lost. You have my sincere gratitude. Before we begin, allow me to make a few things clear about the recent war between Banyan and the Laguz Alliance. When we Number received one, your- side are we on? We are the, on the side of the Laguz Alliance. Okay. And sort of, it's it's complicated, but we as Ike and company are fighting with the Luz Alliance and just defended the Queen of Crimea, so we're with them too. Okay. okay. Um, when we received your letter stating that the Senate had made scapegoats of the herons for the previous apostles' assassination, Prime Minister Safirin and I decided to investigate the Senate and prosecute them if needed. Then the senators made their move. And King Canegus asks, what did they do? They imprisoned me in a room in the Manal Cathedral. They then forged an arrest warrant for Sephirin and jailed him. I admit there had been major rifts between myself and the senators in the past. However, I had no idea that they would stoop to such deplorable acts. I should have known this is all my fault. We didn't oh. think you were behind this warmongering. What you just told us confirms what we had guessed. This is to burn the Hawk King. I have been forced to flee my country, but that doesn't change the fact that I am the Empress of Banyan. I will not allow the Senate to declare me false, nor will I stand by as they seize and ravage Benyon. I must return to my country, save my people, and take back my birthright. Yes, Rose? Rose is also at work, so I sometimes I'm not sure if she is talking at work or she's talking in my ears. <laughs> um, so she, Sanaki wants her country back. Kind of like she helped Alencia get her country back in game, uh, well, I call it game one. We all know it's not game one, but in Path of Radiance. To accomplish all of this, I would like to form an alliance with the Laguz tribes. Help me save Banyan. 
I will accept if you agree for a f four to a few conditions. First, the immediate and total emancipation of any Lagoos remaining in slavery. Seems reasonable to me. Um, second, that new diplomatic relations between our people start with a clean slate. No bias against Bjork or Lagoos shall be tolerated. Lastly, a full alliance between our countries to further solidify this agreement. If you agree to these terms, I give my support. I hope that at long last, the dream that both King Ramon and I held can come to fruition. I agree with King Canegus completely. If these conditions are agreed to, Crimea would like to join this alliance as well. Do you intend to return the Serenus Forest to the Herons when you take back the throne? Of course. The goddess loved the forest because the Herons made their homes there. I will see to it that you can return home. My brother, we can finally go home. Our family can be together again in our own homeland for the first time in decades. All right, I'm all for this. I didn't need much convincing though. I just want to rip those idiot senators in half. Gallia, Phoenicius, Serenus, and Crimea shall hereby make a pledge. Apostle Sanaki, we who we will wholeheartedly, I cannot talk, there goes the code. <laughs> we will wholeheartedly support your effort to return to the throne so long as we stand united in our ideals. Please bring peace back to our lands. Each of you has my deepest gratitude. I swear I will accomplish that goal. So, it sounds like everyone is on the same side now. That's the best news I've heard in a long time. I feel the same, but it's too early to celebrate. I will not be happy until I take my country back, or back my country. How we fare in the battles to come will be of the utmost importance. The Grill mercenaries would be glad to help. I know that we're a small unit, but we'll do our best to see the job done right. I certainly hope you will, especially since I've decided to make you the commander of our combined forces. Guess what this means? Wait, hold on there. What did you say? Listen, Apostle Sanaki, I'm really flattered, but General Zelgius is much more... Zelgius returned to the Empire by himself to rescue Prime Minister Sephirin. Our army consists of the troops he left behind as well as the armies of Crimea, Gallia, and Phoenicius. Ike, you're probably the only person on the face of Tellius who commands respect from all four countries represented here. Ike, I know you're not happy about this, but you're the only person who can bridge the rift between the Lagoos and the Bjork. Can you put mine on in the background, please? Okay. Um... Like, I know you're not happy about this, but you're the only person who can bridge the rift. Okay. Um, no, I'm not happy about it. I thought my days of being a general ended three years ago, but I won't refuse. If you think I'm the only person who can pull this off, then I'll do my best not to let you down. Thank you, Ike. Let us go meet with the armies and the soldiers who will be leading. They will want to meet their new commander. Not again. Yes, again. 